Hello guys and welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create this beautiful and easy presentation that you can do in any version of PowerPoint. And after you watch this video, I think you can make it in less than 5 minutes. Alright, first of all, insert your picture from your device. I get this picture from Pexels.com. You can download it by clicking the link in the description. Now zoom out. By holding Ctrl and Shift key, expand the picture like this and make sure it's big enough to cover 3 slides. Drag it to the center and once it's ready, click on the crop option and drag the handle to adjust the area so it meets the slide size. Now look at this, we have a part of the image that covers the slide beautifully. Right click on slide 1 and duplicate it. Then go to the crop option. In this step, what we need to do is make sure to hold the cursor in line with this bottom cropping handle. Then hold shift key and carefully drag it up until your cursor meet the top cropping handle. Right click on slide 2, just like before, duplicate it and go to crop option again. Start your cursor in line with this bottom line. Hold shift key and then drag it upward until your cursor meet the top cropping handle again. So now we have three slides of pictures. Go back to slide 1, insert and then add some text boxes. Here you can type your text down manually but for me to save your time I did something to my text before so that it's safe in my clipboard and I can paste it anytime. Once your text done, go to insert and then draw one rounded rectangle. Let's zoom in for the detail. Drag this yellow dot a little bit, move it to the top, get rid of the outline and then change the color to solid white. Now insert an icon. Here I choose this arrow icon. Rotate it and then put it on bottom side. Make it smaller and then change the color to white. For the picture, right click format picture and then reduce the brightness to minus 20%. You can adjust the brightness to whatever the amount you think your text can be read easily. Alright now, go to the slide 2, reduce the picture brightness like before, insert another text boxes and then type your text. To add some variation, I changed this text color to yellow, maybe even orange but I think yellow is more eye-catching for this one. Alright now, it looks good. Now go to insert shapes and then draw a new rounded rectangle below the text. Get rid of the outline and then change it to yellow. In format shape, set the transparency to 20%. Here maybe you can add join us or start text on the shape. I think start is good. Make sure it's black and adjust the size. Go to slide 3, draw a new circle, remove outline and then change the color to white. Here I set the transparency to 20%. Go to insert text box and type your text. Now select and block the objects and then group it. Duplicate it to 3 and then distribute it horizontal like this. Here I rename the another two text boxes. Just gotta make sure if it's matched with my presentation. Scenery, activities and local culture. For the three circles, we need to insert new three icons. So here let me choose whatever icon that I think match with my presentation. Now drag the icons to the top of the circles, let me expand the size, and then group the icon with each of the objects. Reduce the brightness of these icons by 20%. Now to add a little bit of decoration, insert a new rounded rectangle and then put it on bottom of the slide like this. Get rid of the outline and then change the color to white. Alright, go to slide 1, copy the arrow icon on the bottom and then paste it on slide 2. Here I'll make a search bar like we've seen a lot in the website. By playing around with round rectangle. Change the outline to black and then fill color to white. In format shape, I set the transparency to 20%. Go to insert tab and then insert a search icon like this. Make it smaller and then put it on right side of the bar change the color a little bit and now add a stripe vertical line beside it. Alright, we're almost done guys. Select and block slide 2 and 3. Go to transition and then add push transition. Here you can adjust the duration to whatever you like but for me 2 seconds is good. Alright, if you follow all of the steps, your slide's gonna look something like this. Pretty cool right? I think you might want a tutorial about the slider effect in PowerPoint. Just check it out on the end screen. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.